Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about a Chinese owl. Not this one, this one. A cork park Chinese owl with some off-season work. So let's get on to it, should we? Now it's very often strongly advised to do repots in the late winter or early spring as the buds begin to swell. But what if I told you that it can be done in early autumn as growth begins to slow while there's still time for recovery before the freezing weather truly kicks in. And what have I told you that a tree is never really truly dormant and that roots grow all year round but at a slower rate during its dormancy and the only really stop if the ground or pot they are growing in is frozen over giving them no room to grow. Now, given some trees are a lot more hardier than others, like this Chinese elm, this tree will recover a lot faster than, say, a Japanese maple, given the same treatment. And uh, emergency repots such as slip potting would probably be the better option if needed, and then dealt with the following spring. Now, if you've been following me for a while, um, you will know that I don't use winter protection for any of my trees and my Chinese elms and other trees face winter every year. And I'll say it again, um, the regular Chinese elms that you see can handle down to minus 10 degrees Celsius. And the corkbark Chinese elm is just as hardy down to minus five, minus seven degrees Celsius, depending on the size and the health of the tree. But it also should go about saying, if your pot is frozen over, it's not just the Chinese elms that suffer from it, if there's bitterly cold winds, you are at risk of branch dieback or losing the tree. So it's always best to protect from cold winds during the winter season. If your trees are healthy with good free drain and soil, unlike this little cork bark elm here that came in with poor soil, your tree can wait till spring for its repot. But also remember, if you don't know already, that some parts of the world class Chinese elm as an invasive species for a reason. So I look forward to updating on this tree next year. And if you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. If not, no worries. And I'll catch you in the next one.